Welcome, yogis. My name is Lily Vett, and this is Flow for Balance. Today's practice is going to be a wrist-free practice. So if you feel like you have uh, carpal tunnel syndrome issues going on, or you feel like you need to take a break from all of the vinyasa flows, your down dogs, and you want to just go ahead and work on some balance and work on a little bit more of legs, this is the practice for you. doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It's going to be a little challenging and it's going to be a great way to go ahead and focus on dristis, focus on trying to get mind and body connected to your intention and make it really purposeful in each movement that you do. So let's get started. Start at the top of your mat so that we can get grounded and rooted. Start working through the root chakra all the way up to the crown. Take a deep cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Wiggle your toes to feel yourself rooted into the ground. Your shoulders, bring them up, back and down. Palms are forward. Feel yourself in a nice, strong mountain pose. Never underestimating what a mountain pose is and the value it holds. And as you are here, settling into your breath, start to set an intention for your practice. Think about what may have brought you to your mat. Keep your intention simple, maybe a word such as forward or release. Maybe the word breathe, move, perhaps a mantra that you repeat to yourself, such as today I will focus on self-care, leaving the critic off of my mat. Whatever your intention might be, see if you can connect the breath, the pose, and the intention, making your practice come full circle for you this morning. Let's inhale the arms all the way up to the top and circle your left wrist and exhale to the right. Inhale center and circle the right wrist, exhale to the left. Inhale center. On an exhale, cactus the arms, take the elbows to the back, really lift your heart all the way to the sky. Inhale all the way up. And then exhaling, bringing your thumbs to hearts. In your right wrist, and this time go ahead and exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Encircle your left wrist and exhale right. Inhale, center. Once again, Go ahead and cactus the arms, take the elbows way to the back, really engage your shoulder blades, lifting the heart up to the sky. Inhale all the way up to the top. On the exhale, bringing your thumbs to heart center. Two breaths. Go ahead and inhale the arms all the way up to the top. Exhale. Exhale, go ahead and come into a letter T with the arms and a half fold. Now your legs, if you need to have a micro bend in them, please go ahead and do so. Nice deep inhale on the exhale, point your fingertips down to the mat. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, pull your elbows in toward the ribs. 
Inhale, take the arms down. Exhale, pull the elbows toward the ribs. Inhale, down. Exhale, pull the elbows toward the ribs. Working always toward a back, a flat back. Exhale, elbows toward the ribs. Even though your legs can be nice and straight or bent. Take a nice deep inhale and then on the exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang heavy here. You can shake your head no, nod your head yes, whatever it is that you need. Find your breath, maybe wiggle your toes. Hands on the shins, inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen and create space. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, gently roll all the way up. Inhale, the arms all the way up to the top. And then exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, arms to a letter T. See if you can work your legs this time a little straighter than when you had them before, if you had a gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, the arms all the way forward. Palms face each other. Continue to breathe, fingertips toward the wall in front. Inhale and then exhale, elbows toward the ribs. Inhale forward, exhale, elbows toward the ribs. Keep going just like that. One more time. Nice deep inhale on the exhale, forward fold. Again, let your head weigh heavy. Maybe shake your head no, nod your head yes. Hands on the shins, inhale, halfway lift, create length and space. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, all the way up to the top of the flat back. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, thumbs to rib, or thumbs to sternum, excuse me. Take a nice deep inhale. Bring your left knee up, hold it there for three, two, one. Take a generous step to the back. So we're gonna come into warrior one. Inhale the arms up. You're gonna take that right hip to the back, left hip forward. Settle into the breath. Let the tailbone come down toward the mat. Wrap your arms back toward your shoulder blades. Take a nice deep inhale. Bring the arms out and open up into a letter T. Squeeze your shoulder blades as if you were squeezing a pencil between them. Don't forget to bend that front knee. Bring your hands down beside you, palms stay facing forward. Take the body to a 45 degree angle. Deep inhale. On the exhale, start to bend the elbows bringing the palms up. We're working a little bit of the triceps and then take it down. Inhale and then exhale down. Leave the elbows nice and close to the ribs. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale the arms all the way up to the top, staying at that 45 degree angle and then exhale, pull it in. Inhale, Exhale, pull it in. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale. 
Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Go ahead and bring your left leg all the way up to the top. Hold it here for three, two, one. Opposite leg coming up. And hold for three, two, one. Generous step back into warrior one. You have a 45 degree angle on that back foot. Inhale the arms up. Left hip comes back. Right hip goes forward. Bend in that left knee. Wrap your shoulder blades around you. Settle into the breath. Connect breath pose and intention here. Nice deep inhale on the exhale. Open up the arms into letter T. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together as if you were holding that pencil there. Deep inhale, exhale, take it down. 45 degree angle with the body. Palms stay forward. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down. Two more times. Arms up by the biceps. Inhale and exhale. Pull those elbows toward the ribs. One more time. All the way up. And then bring thumbs to sternum. Inhale, bring it up. Go ahead and bring that right foot all the way up. Hold it here for three, two, one. Take it down. Two breaths. Go ahead and inhale the left leg up. Three, two, one. Generous step to the back. We are going to go into warrior two. 45 degree with that back leg. Your arms are as strong as your legs. Front knee is tracking that pinky toe. Shoulders and hips in line with one another. Settle into your breath. Go ahead and straighten out that front leg. Inhale to the back reverse triangle. And then exhale, really shift that left hip back, pushing forward as much as you can. And then coming into triangle pose. You can look at that left thumb as your dristi, if that bothers your neck. You can always look down. You can have your hand on a block. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, back into warrior two. Go ahead and turn onto the ball of the foot in the back. You're gonna cartwheel that left arm all the way up. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, take the left elbow to the outside of that right knee.
bring your left foot to meet the right. Take a nice deep inhale and then on the exhale, take that left foot all the way back again. Working on balance, right? Always remember that we practice without judgment and criticism. Come back to center. On the exhale, come back into warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale into extended side angle. See if you can bend into that front leg a little more. Take a nice deep inhale, come into five pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and then come back into warrior two. Settle into the breath again. Cartwheel that left hand and down, come into the ball of it. Inhale into high lunge, crescent pose. Nice deep inhale on the exhale, bring your thumbs to heart center. And let's take that left leg all the way back up again, holding it here for three, two, one. Let's wiggle it out. Lifting the right leg up, holding it here. Three, two, one. Generous step to the back. We're falling into warrior two on this side. Your drissy is your middle finger here. Nice deep inhale, go ahead and straighten out that leg. Come into reverse triangle. And on your exhale, I want you to reach forward that, kick out that right hip, and then come into triangle pose. So for triangle pose, you don't wanna dump your hand and all of the weight onto your hand wherever you are. So you wanna use your core as much as possible to keep you up. You can also use your block, peeling back that top chest, shoulder area. So if you're here, that's fine. Using your block to go ahead and help you to make your practice stronger. That's why they call it a practice, right? Each time we get to the mat, we make it better and better. Inhale all the way up to the top. Fall into warrior two. Settle into the breath. Remembering there's no such thing as a perfect pose. Coming into the ball foot in the back, cartwheeling that right hand all the way up. Challenging our balance each time we come. 
to the mat and practice nice deep inhale on the exhale bringing your hands heart center thumbs to sternum take a nice deep inhale on the exhale take that right elbow on the outside of that left knee your dristi now is your left elbow see if you can look at it Find your ujjayi pranayama, that audible breath sound to you. Sounds like a Darth Vader breath. Nice deep inhale on the exhale. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Twisted chair pose. Deep inhale on the exhale. Let's go ahead and take that foot all the way back out again. Inhale back to center and then exhale warrior two. Inhale reverse and then exhale into extended side angle. So take that top arm, palm faces the wall behind you. See if you can feel the energy coming from your right foot all the way out the right fingertips. Nice deep inhale, come all the way up into five pointed star. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, coming down into prayer squat. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Last one here. And then fall into warrior two. Go ahead and come onto the ball of your foot in the back. Bring in your hands to heart center, nice deep inhale. On the exhale, take that back leg, bring it up. A little challenge for me. And then take it down, wiggle it out. my mat travels on the carpet. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, let's go ahead and come into a balance move. You're going to cross the left ankle over the right you're going to come into a seated pigeon. Chest forward, hips to the back. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, allow that foot to come all the way down. And then go ahead and let your body come all the way down. This is also gonna be a great stretch for your IT band. Just let your head weigh heavy here. We're going to change where our majority of our support is. We went from right foot supporting our balance pose. Now we're going to go to left, left leg supporting our balance pose. 
So you can go ahead and use if you want. Take a little bit of a take on sugar cane and you can just lift up your right leg only if you want. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, go ahead and bring that foot behind again. And we're gonna roll up just like that. Release, uncross. So you're back to the center of your mat. And I want you to inhale the arms all the way up and exhale, roll them back. Inhale up, exhale, roll them back. One more time, inhale up, exhale, roll them back. So now we're gonna cross the right over the left for our seated pigeon. A little bit of a balance, turning into a stretch, turning into a balance. Nice deep inhale, and then exhale, take it down. Hips to the back, chest to the front. Take a nice deep inhale on the exhale. Just let that right leg cross completely in front of the left. And then let your body come all the way down for this stretch. Deepen the breath, relax the face. We tend to clench our jaw. When we start to work hard, maybe open and close the mouth. If you would like, you can stay in this stretch if you want, or you can go ahead and grab that left foot and start to come up for a balance pose here. You can have one or two fingers, you can have your whole hand down. You can have a block down. Nice deep inhale. On the exhale, let's bring that foot all the way back into that same original position, which is behind the right leg. On an inhale, start to roll up. Exhaling at the top. Unravel the legs, shake them out. Now we're gonna do that rolling back with the shoulders, but we're gonna involve the whole body. So coming down, exhale, inhale down, and then exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more of these. And exhale and just kind of shake it out. Okay. Bringing your hands towards heart center, inhale the arms all the way up. Go ahead, bring your left leg up, nice deep inhale. On the exhale, take a medium step back. Front leg is nice and straight. I'm gonna show you three ways that you can have the position of your hands behind you. So you can have your hands fists together. You can have opposite hand to opposite elbow, 
or you can be in reverse prayer. It is entirely up to you. We are coming into pyramid pose. So whichever position you want your hands to be in, go ahead and do that. Inhale, look up. And then on the exhale, start to think about bringing your chest to your thighs. This is a balance pose as well. Lengthen the breath. Think about your intention here. This is a great place to connect to it. Start to inhale and lift the body. Exhale when you reach the top. Release your hands. Inhale the arms up to the top, bringing your hands to heart center. Take that left foot all the way up and then take it down. Big toes together, heels a couple of inches apart. If you have any back issues, I want you to just go ahead and take your feet to hips width distance apart. Otherwise, stay with toes together, heels apart. Inhale the arms all the way up to the top. On the exhale, we're coming into chair pose. If you have shoulder issues, please take your thumbs to heart center in prayer position. Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale. On the exhale, take your hands to the back. Come on to your toes. Inhale your arms all the way up to the top. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Create some length and some space. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, start to roll all the way up. Exhale at the top. Mountain pose. Bring your hands into heart center. Lifting your right leg up, holding it here for three, two, one. Medium step to the back. Hand position, whichever you chose before, and you want to do that again, go ahead and do that. Nice deep inhale, look up. And then exhale. Think chest to the thighs. Find your breath. Lift and lower your front toes so that you don't have a death grip on your mat.
on an inhale, start to come up. Exhaling at the top. Release your hands. Go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. And then take it down. Coming into chair pose, lifting your arms up. into heart center. Exhale, take your hands to the back, come on to your toes. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Create some length and some space, and then exhale, forward fold. And then on an inhale, start to roll all the way up to the top. Mountain pose. Coming into wind release pose. So you're gonna go ahead and take your right leg and just go ahead and take that right leg and bring it in toward your shoulder. Flex that foot. Take a nice deep inhale on the exhale release. Let's go to the opposite side now. Nice deep inhale, exhale, release. And then you want to go ahead and loosen your hips a little bit. Take it side to side to your level of comfort. And speaking of hips, <laughs> go ahead and take your toes. 45 degree angle off of your mat. So you would do 45 degree angle. I'm gonna just face you. Take a nice deep inhale, the arms all the way up to the top. And then on the exhale, we're going to do a squat flow. You're gonna come down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. We're going to stay down on this next one. Exhale down. So if your heels are up, okay? can't have them down, you can use a couple of blocks to have your heels down 
or if blocks aren't accessible to you and your heels are still up, what's most important here is to have a flat back so your back is nice and long. So more than anything, make sure that your back is long and flat. We won't be here long. Two more breaths. And coming down from your squat onto your mat. Gently all the way down onto your back. You can take your feet to the edges of your mat and take them side to side in windshield wiper motion. Bringing your knees into your chest, gentle hold on top of your knees, and make some small circles in one direction. And then take those small circles in the opposite direction. Let your left leg come down. Support your right leg either behind the calf or the thigh. Let's flex and point the toes and then circle the ankle around and then circle in the opposite direction. Let's go ahead and do that on the opposite side. Flex and point the toes. Circle the ankle around. And now opposite direction. Go ahead and take the legs to a 90 degree angle, letter T position with the arms, nice deep inhale, and on the exhale, take the legs all the way over to the right, and then just place your hand on top of your knees, look to the left. Let's get a good spinal twist here, releasing the spine from all the work that it did standing. Optional to close your eyes and just allow your body to start relaxing from the work that it did. Take an inhale, release the hand from on top of the knees, look up to the ceiling on the exhale, go ahead and bring the knees up center. Inhale and then exhale, take the knees over to the left. Place your left hand on top of your knees and then you can look over to the right. Option to close your eyes. Take a deep inhale, release the hand from on top of the knees, look up toward the ceiling on the exhale, bring your knees to the center. Go ahead and wrap opposite hand to opposite wrist. And perhaps if you'd like, just a gentle sway side to side, flex all 10 toes. Release your grip. Take your feet to the edges of the mat. 
Shrug your shoulders away from your ears. Bring your arms out to 45 degree angle. Let your knees fall into one another here and uh, just take two breaths. Now, if you have any back issues and you would like to stay in this position, that is perfect. This is great for your back. Otherwise, you can go ahead and start to walk your feet down the mat and come into our final stillness and mindfulness pose of Shavasana. However you feel most at ease and most comfortable, that's where you should be. Start to take three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Just let your body sink down into the floor. See if you can rest awareness in your breath. Release any gripping from your shoulders and your hips. And become aware of any body sensations you might be feeling, like any tightness, tingling, pressure, or tenderness. And take your breath into those areas. and let it melt into the mat. Think about what your intention was for the day and see if you can take that intention off of the mat and follow it with you for the rest of the day. Taking your practice with you throughout the day. If it's the evening, just go ahead and relax and see if you can just have that intention with you for the rest of the evening and relaxing and releasing. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. Press pause and continue to release the body, resting in awareness. What I'd like you to do, start to rub a thumb up each one of your fingers, perhaps wiggle your toes. Take a deep inhale, bring your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Bring your arms down beside you in full relaxation. These next couple of breaths, do whatever is most comforting and nurturing for your body. And then when you're ready, make your way to a comfortable seat so that we can conclude our practice. Take a deep inhale, bring your arms overhead. On that exhale, if you'd like, you can twist your wrists on the way down. Shake your hands at the bottom. Inhale all the way up. On the exhale, bringing your hands down to heart center, thumbs to sternum. It has been my pleasure serving you today. I hope you feel a sense of peace and calm. The teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in me honor, acknowledge, and accept the teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in you. Please go out there and spread your light and your joy. Namaste. My name is Lily Bent. This has been Flow for Balance. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing day. Namaste.